it's like a famous um, barbecue place of Sapporo that you have to eat when you come from here. Um, so for starters, well, we ordered um, regular Genghistan lamb and then a lamb filet. So supposedly this one is a limited, a limited edition. So we'll see how that tastes like. And then I and then we have our pickles in there and uh, sauce for the beef. Oh, sorry, lamb later. So um, the Genghis Kong lamb or barbecue. Usually you have a piece of um, fat right here. And then hi, and I got hi, hi. So as the fat melts from the fire, it will um, oil your pan and then the onions, eventually you're gonna eat it for the last and that's gonna taste really good because it has all the fat from the meat, um, from the lamb. Yeah. And we're gonna do wine here. And then we're gonna do one of this one here. It's too thick. Too thick. Another one. Yeah. Alright. Fast. Can we come on? This is my Bilu. I'm going to try it on the sauce first. Dip it. Pretty tender. Mm. No gamey flavor whatsoever. Mm. Sauce is really good also. It actually cuts down the oil a little bit. Pretty nice balance. So the fillet looks like it's ready also. I'm gonna try it real quick. I'm putting it here. This piece on here. Oh, you might as well just sharp more pieces out. Alright. And then, um, try this. Hi. Okay, you don't taste any of the minutes. You can actually taste the fragrance of the lamb. It's nice. With the preserved cabbage. Their cabbage is really interesting. It's like, it's not really marinated with vinegar or sugar or whatnot. It tastes more of, I have a strong urine taste to it. Quite nice. It goes well with the um, lamb itself. What's a visit to Japan without getting some yakitori? We found this popular yakitori restaurant called Kushidori in the subway terminal and what can I say? It's everything you expect from yakitori. We're at the skewer place right now and then I got a sochu with green tea. It has the green tea fragrance to it and then a little bit of sochu flavor. And then so far we have skewers, kingo nuts, I think this is chicken. Chicken cartilage, or this might be pork actually, this might be pork. Chicken cartilage and then bacon, um, asparagus wrapping bacon, and then sausages. This is a limited edition, by the way. And then also has daikon and uh, ketchup and mustard. So I love this. Fragrant, very fragrant. So this one, I want to say the first piece for Din. So I'm gonna eat the onions and put together. Mm. Mm. Mm, so good. Uh, it's a bit sweet and um, tender. My favorite. I like it. Chicken cartilage. I think it's like a little bit of black pepper on it. It's good. Mm, it's almost like the best chicken cartilage I ever had. Hey, arigato. 
Oh. We got this guy on your skirt's chicken. Chicken wings, which is freaking huge. And chicken get the food. So, asparagus. Mm. The pork here is good. Asparagus is soft. Mm. A little bit salt and pepper, not extra flavors, but just enough to make the food taste better. Mm. It's a very snappy sausage. Mm. That's the inside of the sausage. I got more than chicken gizzard with you. Oh. Crunchy. Juicy. Not rubber like, but chewy at the same time. And then, mm, next one, we have chicken. We ordered two skewers of chicken. Mm. The chicken is really, really, really good. Mm. <laughs> Super tender. Mm. Mm. Last not, but not least, chicken wings. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, it's like so good. The chicken skin has like the chicken has like seasonings on it, and uh, when you bite into it, the inside is juicy and tender, and the outside is crispy, a thin layer of um, crispy skin. So good. Also, um, we gave you this awesome soup, which we drink a lot about a lot already. This is chicken soup with um white pepper. <laughs> It's super matching with the skewers. <clears throat> yeah, so this is our second dinner. <laughs> mm.